Today's message comes to us from this beautiful deck and it is called the Muse Tarot. And the card that comes to us is the Muse of Voices. And before I read to you what this card represents for our collective, I want you to just take a look and notice the, the picture here. Notice the two people opposite each other. And that representation is a representation of our shadow side and our light side. We all have it. And it is crucially important for each and every one of us to begin to notice or to lean into and lean into more the shadow dark aspects of ourselves. And usually that comes through when we are going through major obstacles. And when that happens, imagine a fork in the road and you have a choice. You can either lean into it and feel it in order for you to grow and expand, but it's not very comfortable. Or you can distract yourself from it and not lean into it. And typically what happens in life is if we don't do the leaning in and the feeling and the really digging in deep, as deep as you are designed to go, more and more situations will come through in your life path to teach you whatever lesson there was in the leaning in of the shadow. So the question I asked of the cards is, what message do we need to hear today as a collective? And this is the card that came through and I wanna read it to you. It's not very long, but it really is so important because it is what we are all seeing on the grand stage of the world right now. And then you might also be seeing this in certain situations in your own personal life. The card represents communicating the truth, intuitive knowing, integrity, directness, honest leadership, diplomacy, finding spiritual truth and purpose, bird's eye view, Blending strategy with intuitive knowing and avoiding manipulation. And the prompt for this card is the walkway of consciousness. So how amazing is it that I asked the question, what does consciousness need to know? And this is actually answering it specifically and directly. The muse of voices dances freely at the gates of enlightenment, drawing heavily on both experience and inner clarity. She knows that what her mind creates and what it receives from the world are both based on her own perceptions of the facts. And yet, she also knows the collective truth, which we all agreed upon as our reality, is what we must use to share our dance of joy. She whispers to speak clearly and to step into your position as an unbiased truth-telling leader. Allow the wind to whisk you past any voices that seem to stand in the way between you and your dreams. Be authoritative when it comes to honesty and integrity and blend diplomacy and intellect on your way <clears throat> Excuse me, to transcendence. Steering clear of showy displays made with the false beauty of smoke and mirrors. This will allow you to focus on the art of the mind and to put your head in front of your heart while you find your voice and use your tools of perspective independence. Light with me the world on truth, sweet drop of trust ignite flight with me in all our youth, our sacred will speak bright. So what that is essentially saying to us is that last part of it is so important because we are really seeing all of this, what we thought was beauty or what we thought was truth. What we are seeing, hopefully you are seeing this, is the smoke and mirrors behind it and how so many of the words and the energy behind the words was in fact not with integrity and it was dishonest and it was not truth. And this card is coming to us today. Today is the 6th of October, 2022. And October is a month, if you are familiar with numerology, is a month of the number seven. And the number seven for our universal month represents our expansion in spirituality and or what that really means is 
expanding in looking at the darkness that is all around us and understanding what it is and acknowledging it so that we can expand in our inner consciousness so that we know that we can go within further than we ever have before to expand ourselves and to trust our inner guide. So if you're listening to this message today, I want you to just understand that, yes, we are seeing this on the, hum on the stage of the human collective consciousness, but maybe notice in your life where this might be represented as well, because what's going on on the world stage is a reflection of what is going on all around us in our own personal lives. Remember, you are light and you are dark. And it is okay to have parts of both because parts of both create the whole, the wholeness of who you are. So embrace, acknowledge, love, and respect the dark aspects of who you are because there is so much magic in understanding all the parts of who you are so that the light that is inside of you can truly shine through. I hope that there was something in this message that helped you today, and I wish you a great day. Bye-bye.